Hey, ladies. Good afternoon. All right, ladies. I am going to wait and see if we get some more people in. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to um, send over a Zoom link to someone. But today, ooh, ladies, we need to talk about... We need to talk about these men that are still stuck on their ex and how you need to leave them clean alone. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But I will say this, okay, because I'm not immune. Once upon a time, I got stuck in this crazy cycle. I did. I can admit it to y'all. Years ago, I got stuck in this foolishness with a man that was still stuck on his ex. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I know what I was thinking. I'm about to talk about that. Um, but yes, I'm going to give you some ways to know. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got to send this out real quick. I'm going to give you some ways to know that you need to leave him clean alone. And I want you to do it sooner rather than later. See, by the time I figured it out, like it dawned on me, it woke me out of my sleep. It woke me out of my sleep, y'all. I was like five months in. I was five months into this foolishness and I was like, oh, he is still in love with his ex. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to kick some game here. And again, y'all remember, I'm not telling y'all anything that I have not experienced or, or seen up close firsthand. This is not a theory over here. This is this is reality. This is what what it is. OK, this is not me theorizing of maybe this maybe mate no i i'm just telling y'all this is years of experience talking okay all right i just want to send this lady her zoom link oh lord okay but yes please leave these men alone leave these men alone that are still you know feeling some kind of way about their ex and here's the thing for you to know it doesn't even matter if he left her it or if she left him right so if she put him down i mean it's gonna be real bad if she put him down oh lord please stay away from him it's gonna be real bad it's gonna be worse if she put him down but even if he walked away from her y'all know and i'm talking maybe she cheated on him maybe she you know did him dirty in some other way you know for whatever right if, she, if he had to leave her alone Still, still, mm -mm. I need y'all to listen up because uh-uh, do not get in that entanglement. That's a true entanglement. A true entanglement is when you start dating a man and he is anywhere between one day, <laughs> one day and, and six months. So anywhere between one day and six months. And here's the caveat. If he was married or in a relationship for longer than five or six years, I'm going to stretch that out to a year. So day one, all the way up to day 365, leave him alone. You cannot win. And you could be amazing. Let me tell you what's so crazy about this scenario. You could be the most amazing, beautiful, just the, the entire package. Hello, the entire package. And if you get with a man too soon out of his last relationship and he's still feeling a way about his ex, it will strip you. Y'all, it will strip you of every ounce of self-esteem you have. You will leave that situation feeling like nothing. That's why it's so important. Hello, it's so important that you leave him alone. It's, to, it's for your benefit. Leave that man alone. Okay? So... That's that's a first date question. I always give people the first date or oh, how about this? First phone call. First text exchange. That is a first question that you ask. I do not wait until date 3 to find out. So, tell me about your last relationship. How long ago was it? When did it end? I ask that the first that's the first thing I ask on the phone, through the text or on the date. That's the first thing you need to know so you can make an informed decision. And remember, everything I'm teaching you is so you can make an informed decision because a lot of you are not. Some of that's your own fault and then some of it's the fault of the person who's not, 
you know, telling you the truth or lying. But you need information to make an informed decision. And that's that's the the best daters, the best people out here that are successful in relationships. They make informed decisions. They ask questions and then they ponder those questions. They roll those questions over in their mind and say, hmm, hmm, hmm. See, <laughs> they don't just. Oh, it feels good. He looks good. We have chemistry. He knows people I know. Or he has a job that's exciting. Or uh, he's tall. Or he got money. He sent me this. He doing that. Don't, that's, don't, none of those things. None of those things have anything to do with relationship success. None of those things. Sorry. But they don't. None of those things are telling you if this man could be a good husband or father. None of those things I just listed. Sorry. And honestly, ladies, that's how we got to start choosing. We have to start choosing based on the character of a man. Not on how good he look or, 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 sorry, y'all, I got an email. It it took me off my train of thought. We got to stop that. Okay. We have to start looking at deeper. Okay. And we need to make informed decisions. So let me tell y'all quickly, because I'm going into session at one o'clock. Here are five things, five ways that you can know, okay, (laughs) this man still feel a way about his ex. He's still in love with her. He's still pining for her. He want to be back with her. Don't fall for it. The first one should be obvious, but it unfortunately is not. So remember, you are going to ask the question. This is one of the first questions that you ask because this will help you to make an informed decision. So tell me about your last relationship. How long has it been? When did you all break up? See, and it's going to sound, it's going to flow. It's going to say any of those, any of those that I just said, you know, when was that? Was it of January of this year? Was it January last year? Was it, you know, last month? See, you need to know. And that's not a question that you're going to let a man get out of or get around. But here's the thing I'm going to tell you. If he is not transparent, if he's not forthcoming, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. A man who's been out of his relationship for a year, two years, five years, ten years, he's going to offer that up. Oh, that was five years ago. That was ten years ago. That was a year ago. My divorce became final a year ago, two years ago, four years ago. He's going to offer that up. If it was last month, that's when all the him and hawing is going to start. Pass. Pass. Nope. That's that's your first sign. Something ain't right. But let's say he is forthcoming and he says, yeah, I was seeing somebody uh, and we broke up in, in March. OK, and it's May now. We broke up in March. Really? How long were you all dating? See, that's the, you, the follow up is how long? Because now we need to determine, was it months? Was it years? Was it decades? Like, inquiring minds need to know because I can assure you it's one thing to date a woman for three months and he broke up in March. That's one thing. It's another thing. I dated her for five years. We were engaged. We were married for 10 years, 20 years, five years or what have you. That's a very different situation. That's a bond. That's an attachment that that person has. It's unlikely that that person has bonded in three months or five months or seven months. But if we're talking a year or longer, chances are bonding has occurred. That person has gotten attached to that person. So tread lightly. And again, I give rules. I don't have a problem giving rules because can I be honest with y'all? Let me let me just break it on down. Let me be honest. So many people today don't have common sense. So if I do the whole, yeah, just, you know, leave it up to you. Leave it up to your judgment. Leave it up. to No, no, don't leave it up to. Because there are a lot of people out here that they're like, I don't have, I, I don't have a good way of judging that. I need some sort of rule. I need some sort of timeline. Like, tell me, Anita, what's, what, what's a good timeline? Day one out of his relationship up to six months. If, if the relationship was a long period of time, two, three, four, five years, I say a year. I say a year because guess what's going to happen? You're the rebound. 
you're the rebound. You're the, you know, I just got out of my serious relationship with someone that I love, that I cared for, that I was bonded to, that I was attached with. And now I just need to run through some chicks to kind of get that off of my mind. And it's, it's going to take more than just you. It's going to take a few chicks. The way these men out here are operating, it's not, it's not going to be just with you. It's going to take a few chicks to kind of run that woman and everything they experienced, everything they went through out of his mind. Don't be her. Don't ever be the rebound. Like I said, I have had it happen to me one time in life, and that was one time too many. Don't be the rebound. I want you to affirm right now on this live, I am not the rebound. I am not a rebound chick. I am a high value, all the, all the, all the marbles in, all the chips in. That's the chick that I am. I'm the chick that you, you know, you put everything on the table for. I am not a rebound. I am not someone that, you know, people waste my time, you know, that they're like, oh, I need to get over somebody and I'm just going to do that with you. That's not you. That's not me. Nope. And I'm smart enough to say, mm -mm, too, it's been too, it's been, it hadn't been long enough, sorry. You are not anyone's rebound. But you have to declare that and you have to believe it. That I am a high quality, high value woman. I am the type of woman that a man truly considers being with long term. He truly considers marriage. I am not a fun time girl. Mm -mm, I'm not any of that. So, nope. Nope. Okay? So, First question, when you start texting back and forth, whether it's through a dating app, whether it's through, oh, he got your number, how it, or messenger, DM. Yeah, tell me about your last relationship. How long has it been? Yeah, that's the first thing I ask. How long has it been since you w was in your last relationship? Okay, now if he say, I have not been in any relationships. I've just dated around and this and that. All right, that's a that's another red flag. But anyway, that's not for today. But I do want you to ask him, okay, really? Well, tell me a little bit, you know, about that last girl that you dated. How long did you all date? You still need information. Yes, <laughs> Cherry Girl 874 said, in 2022, rules are needed. Structure is needed. Timelines are needed. Strategy is needed. A code is needed. Common sense is not common, clearly. Thank you. Let me just heart that comment. <laughs> Amen. And I'm here for it. A lot of other coaches say, why do you tell them this and this and that and this many days and this? And because a lot of women need guidelines. This And, and the guidelines is what's going to lead to your success. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem telling you that if a man is one day up to six months out of his relationship, leave him alone. And don't jump in here talking about there's exceptions to every rule. I don't teach that. I'm not worried about that because it's is the exception is like two percent. And what I'm what I'm what I look like talking to two percent of people when ninety-eight percent of people need me. So I ain't about that life. I'm about the ninety-eight percent that's like, yeah, chances are that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you know, chances are you're not gonna meet a man that just got out of a 20-year marriage and hit his divorce ain't been final a month, and he gonna meet you and marry you. That's two percent of the time but 98 percent of the time you are a rebound and you are one of many that he's gonna go oh this is fun oh this is fun oh this is fun oh this is fun Ooh. and then maybe a year two years three years you know this ain't as fun as i thought i really like being married i really need to settle down again i really need to find someone see but you and one of those you know eight women that he had fun with. Don't be her. Do not be her. Okay? Let's jump in. Number one. This might seem like common sense, but as she said, common sense ain't so common. He speaks of her. He talks of her. He, and this is, now remember, this is not you asking. This is him offering. He offers conversation about her, the way she did things, things he didn't like. And see, here's the thing. A lot of y'all think that if he is disparaging, if he's talking about all the ways he didn't like her, oh, that's that's a good thing, yeah, because he's over her. He he can't stand her. No, boo-boo. No, boo-boo. That's love. Okay, That's love. That's my heart is still there. That's energy. Anytime somebody is giving anybody 
energy of any kind, good or bad, that's love that's still there. That's emotion. So even when this particular man that I dated who was still hung up on his ex, oh, there was a lot of disparaging. There was a lot of, oh, I didn't like this. And oh, she didn't. Oh, you're a good cook. She couldn't cook this and that. Anytime it was brought up, I was like, look at this fool. Okay. Here's the second thing. If he brings her up by name, by name. So not just the ex, by name. Okay. That's a big red flag because I am still very much, my heart is still very much connected. Like, I remember her name. I don't even say the ex, right? Most of the men that I date now, they say, oh, yeah, the ex. My my kid's mother, you know, they don't personalize her. They say my children's mother, the ex, my ex-wife, right? Let him start using her name. Ooh, Lord, y'all y'all in trouble. <laughs> like, y'all in trouble. Well, uh, Denise, you know, didn't know how to cook. Denise... Didn't know how to keep a clean home. Didn't need, no, no. And let me tell y'all, I'm gonna keep it real. That's another little, that's another little tip that a man is interested in another woman. I'm just gonna throw this in here. I dated a man once that he worked with this lady because he was a nurse and she was a nurse. He worked with this lady and every now and again, they will cross each other's path. And I saw the lady. She was a very attractive lady. Very attractive. We're all around the same age, but she was a very attractive lady. And when he started calling her by name, like, well, we will be doing something or he would call her. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I checked that real quick. I said, look, look, when you with me, <laughs> like, I was like, here's what you ain't going to do. You are not going to be out somewhere with me and start talking about another woman by name. If you want to be over there, go over there. But that's what you're not going to do. And a lot of women are not, they feel a way about addressing that. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I did it sweeter than I just did. I was sweeter about it, but I was firm. I was very assertive. I said, you know what doesn't feel good? It does not feel good to be out to dinner with you and to have you talk about this other woman and call her by name. Like I call a man on his stuff. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to sit here on this date in front of me and talk about some other woman and use her name. No, <laughs> that's, mm -mm, I'm not about that life. So yeah, sometimes you just got to keep your ears perked up. If they use the name, if they're talking about that person, even if it's in a disparaging way, even if it's to cut them down, that's emotion. There is love there. So, hmm, interesting. Um, here's another one. If he is still willing to do things for her, leave you for her, like, oh man, when I tell y'all, oh God, I can't even... There were times where it was, oh, she called about her car had a flat tire or, oh, she needed this or, oh, she needed that. And this fool would go. And I was like, <laughs> I'm looking at myself at this point like, Anita, really? Like, you're going to have to cut this, this man loose. But if he will leave, if he will attend to her needs, if he will say, oh, she contacted me about something related to my business or, oh, she needed help with this or that or the third. If there is still this, oh, I'm going to help her out. I'm going to do something for her. I'm going to hook her up with a deal. No, no, no. Cut that loose. Like, you know what? We're not a good fit, you know? And I'm real quick to say that now. If a man even think that you're going to date me and you're going to still, and, I don't, and here's the thing, y'all. I don't care if the woman is the mother of your children. Like, that don't mean nothing to me because it's a lot of men out here using the excuse of, well, that's my children's mother, Anita. Really? That's my kid's mother. You tripping like this? You know what? <laughs> you know? And y'all are, you ought to already know. When I say, you know what? You know what's coming after that, right? If I say, you know what? <laughs> you know what's coming after that. So I was like, yeah, then you can... You can move along over there with her because you're not ready. You're not ready for all this. No. She said, that's the exact reason why I stopped dating men with young children. Oh, for sure. For sure. Woo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You ain't never lied. 
because they got a million and one excuses why they got to be over there or do for her or this or that. Yeah, the men with young children. Yeah, she, good. She said, I don't want to hear a deal with helping her. Mm -mm. Yeah, you got to. Mm -mm. So now you're going to have to make a boundary around that. Like if they got young kids and it could be under 10, under 12, under 15 or whatever. I don't date men with young children, period, because my kids are grown. So I'm, I just, I'm, I don't want to be a stepmother. I'm just keeping it 100. I've raised my children. I would like to date a man who's raised his children. However, if you're younger, I want you to keep this in mind. And a lot of younger women are putting up with this. You all have no children. It hurts my heart to see a beautiful, educated young woman pick a man that has these kids and is still attached to the ex, is still running over there every chance he get or taking her calls at all hours of the night. That hurts my heart. There ain't no way I would ever put up with that. Ever. And I've already told ladies, like, if you have no children, stop dating men with children. And I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I'm going to say it, okay? And I know I'm, I'm going to get some heat, and I don't care. Stop dating men with kids. Stop it. And again, just like we said earlier, there are exceptions to every rule, but it's 2%. 98% of the time, it's a whole lot of foolishness. And if you don't have any children, if you've lived right and you've done the right thing and you've made good choices, I want you to be rewarded for those choices. I don't want you to be with a man that has kids. Leave him to the other single mothers. And this is not a cut to single mothers. I'm a single mother. But y'all, can I be frank? I only dated men that had kids. I still do. I only date men that have kids because to me, we are a better fit for each other. What I look like taking all the men that don't have no kids. No. And, and we just don't have as much in common. I'm just being honest. I don't have as much in common with a man that doesn't have children. Just recently in the last three weeks, y'all, I have met five men. I want you to count them five Five men that are my age, between the ages of 49 and 55, none of them have been married and none of them have any children. And I all but had to pass on all of them because I was like, we just don't have the same life experience. Like I'm looking for someone that has the same life experience as me. And so that man's really not going to relate to being married He's not going to relate to being a parent, even though my kids are grown. Like there's a whole lot of life experience that we don't share. So no, I only date men who have children. I only date men who have been married. That's the truth. Because to me, we are a good fit for each other. But what I look like monopolizing all the men that don't have any kids or that have never been married. No, I want to save those men for the women who are in a similar camp. Like, yes, I want y'all to have those men. Because to me, I want you to be rewarded for making good choices. And dare I say it, and I know y'all are going to hate on this too, I feel the same way about the men. I told my male clients, stop dating these women with all these kids. If you have made good choices, if you have lived a life where you said, you know what, I'm going to avoid having a child. I'm going to avoid having a child until I'm married. One of the guys that I just met, he recently said that. He said, yeah, I did it on purpose because I'm not married and I'm not having any children outside of being married. And I was like, I applaud you. Now, I can't date you. you know, <laughs> I can't do nothing with you, but I hope you find a woman like you who's not married, who's never been married and never had any children. That's a better fit for you. You all have a similar life experience. All right. Alta says it's true. I don't have kids and don't want a man with kids. I want to give my man his first child. That's right. Amen. And you deserve it you deserve it don't let anybody tell you otherwise because they're gonna sit here and tell you oh you're gonna have to settle you're gonna have to deal no you don't no you don't and i had people when i was 25 26 27 they were telling me the same thing anita you're not gonna find a man you know your age or older that doesn't have children i said bet i will bet i will i said i will find a man just like me who's never been married and doesn't have any children. And that's exactly what I got. And we had three children together and got married. So trust when I tell you, nope, nope. Don't let people, you know, 
Don't let people be in your ear about that. She says, I'm the same as a mother. I only date men who have had their children and have expressed that they don't want any more. Yep, same here. Same here. I don't, I can't have no more children, y'all. I don't have no uterus. But yes, I prefer a man that has children. And like I said, older children. Someone who is, you know, I put a cutoff of 16 or 17. Like that was kind of my cutoff. Um, but my kids, I have two 19-year-olds and a 22-year-old. But, you know, my kids' age are older. But I said, I think the youngest I would take is 16, maybe 17. Um, they're they're kind of on their way out. They're on their way out the door. That works best for me. But, mm -mm. Ah, She said, pass those childless men. Yeah, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of them here. And I'm, I kid y'all not. I went to this singles event. I, I went to this singles event. And there were three or four of those men at the singles event. And I was like, wow, this is like an anomaly. I had never met so many men between like 48, 49, and 55. And they had never been married and they had no children. That's unheard of. So, yeah, no, I, I'm not taking those men. And I told them, I said, nope, we don't have enough life experience in common. I'm, I would prefer someone who's had similar life experience as me. That's something that we can both relate to each other on. So, mm -mm, I'm not taking those men. I, I throw them right back. <laughs> I throw them right back in that dating pool. I prefer a man that's been, and the last two men that I've dated, they've been married before and they've had children from those marriages. And we did not have any children together. And that's, you know, I'm totally fine with it. I love other people's kids. I don't have a problem with it. You know, but at least we can both relate. We've been through similar life experience. So, mm -mm. all right. Back to the exes. Okay, so we talked about any form of talking about her, good or bad. We talked about using her name, that's real personal, that you ain't even going to say the ex, my children's mother. You're going to call her uh, uh, Denise. You know, you're going you gonna to call her Denise right in my face. Well, Denise this and Denise that. Mm -mm. Nah, that's not what we're doing, Okay. Okay, if he is still going to her, doing things for her, she's coming to him and he's doing things for her. She, he still sees her as a friend, a confidant. We cool. We still, you know, good friends and all this. And, or here's the other one, the passive one that men love to say, y'all, please don't fall for it. They love to say this one. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to hate her. No, ain't nobody say that. Ain't nobody say that. See, that's what the man going to say as his way of, I'm going to keep communicating with her. Well, dang, Anita, you act like I got to hate her. Didn't nobody say that. Because I don't have hate for anybody in this world. But it's a whole lot of people I ain't cool with or I don't mess with. I don't hate them. I'm just like, as a matter of fact, y'all, can I be honest? It's nothing. Like, it is beyond nothing. I don't have love or hate. I don't think about them at all. Like, that's what I'm looking for. That you have a level of just complacent, like, meh, that's it. That's all I ask. But just beware of these men that they'll say, we don't hate each other. I don't hate her. See, they going clear to the opposite end. They try to justify what they about to do. Don't let it happen, y'all. Do not let it happen. Be like, mm, <laughs> I ain't falling for this. No, ain't nobody say all that. So, just be mindful. If there is still connection to friends or family that you all shared, and especially the family, especially the family, they're going to give you so many reasons. Oh, her mom is like my mom. Her dad is so cool. Her brother, her sister. Like, they're going to give you tons of reasons why they still got to be cool with the family. They still got to be cool with the second cousin. And, oh, she's cool with my family. Or, uh, let's, let's just go ahead and say it, the kids. We have kids together. Like, they're going to use any inroads they can to keep this thing going. And you just go, I have healthy boundaries. I have healthy boundaries. Like, you just tell them, I have healthy boundaries. I'm not going to allow these. I, I just am not interested. Right? And I, now, I will tell a man. If he's like, yeah, me and my ex-girl or me and my ex-wife's, you know, mother are like, we're like this. I just, you know, I just vote no. I just say, yeah, that doesn't work for me. 
That's not something that I'm willing to put up with. So that don't work for me. But any friends, oh, we share the same friend group. Oh, her brother and I are so cool. This and that. Like that, that's a sign. That's a sign, y'all. There's nothing but an inroads that I'm going to keep this thing going. She said, and sleeping with her. Ooh, that's a big red flag. Like if he's still sleeping with her, y'all, mm, that's a big red flag right there. But a lot of times it won't be that obvious. It'll be these other little signs. Oh, um, you know, we have the same friends. We have the same friend group. Her mom and I are cool. Her brother and I are best friends. Like it'll be that mess. Or she's still, she's still really cool with my mom. They still go shopping. And see, all these are ties. All these are ties that need to be cut. Because before long, it's going to be her mother talking to you. It's going to be your mother talking to her. It's going to be her brother. It's going to be on and on and on. And there you go. We are still very much connected. If there is a business together, if there, is, if there are children, we've already talked on that. The whole, uh, y'all, I had this one man, I kid y'all not, I dated him for all of a month. This fool was like, yeah, I, I go over there at 8 o'clock and I, um, you know, I put the kids down and I, I lay in their room and sleep. I fall asleep until they fall asleep. Sometimes I don't leave till 10 or 11. I looked at this fool like, you think I'm stupid. <laughs> you think I'm stupid. You really think I'm stupid that I'm I'm gonna co-sign that? Are you crazy? And it's just me. And look, it's just me being a good guy. It's just me being a good father. That's what a good father does. Fool, are you crazy? Are you half past crazy that you think I'm going to date you and allow this foolishness? So you go over there at night at eight o'clock and you put the kids to bed. And fall asleep in their room and sometimes don't leave to do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> like, come on, y'all. Stop. Stop letting these men say anything and do anything. You have to have a standard. You have to be like, nope, that don't work for me. <laughs> That's it. And again, when you stand on your boundaries and your standards, they're going to try to make you feel bad. That's the only recourse they have. I have to make you feel bad about that. I have to make you seem crazy. I have to make you seem jealous. I have to make you seem, oh, uh, insecure. That's another big one. Oh, so you insecure? You're jealous? I can't have a healthy relationship with my ex, with the mother of my children? Bye. That's what I want y'all to say. Bye-bye. Because they trying to get you to, to loosen your boundaries. They're trying to get you to lower your standards. No, no, they don't work that way. So please don't fall for it. Make sure a man is far out enough from his last relationship. Okay? Make sure his divorce is final. That's another thing. If he is separated, and y'all ought to know better, but now I got to say it. If a man is separated, he's married. He's married. How many couples? I see couples all the time. Thousands of couples, y'all. I can't tell you how many couples have separated for a whole year or longer and have come back together. And sure enough, they each out there dating other people, doing other stuff, and this and that and the third. And guess what? They come back together. And they ain't thinking about the people they was with. They're not thinking about y'all. They're thinking about being with, oh, I want to be back with my wife. I want to be back with my husband. I want my family back together. They're not thinking about y'all. But see, it's y'all. They got put in the middle of that situation, and now your heart is broke. So no, mm -mm. separated is married. And I don't care if the man is separate and living apart for years. I do not date legally married men, period. Get your life together. That's a big, big red flag. Why are you not divorced from this woman? And I do not want to hear, oh, it's complicated. Oh, we got all this stuff we need to figure out. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, the pandemic. I can't tell you how many times I heard the pandemic excuse. Oh, I can't get no divorce because of the pandemic. Okay, well, once you do, and if I'm still available, you know, look me up. But mm -mm, don't do that to yourself. You're doing that to yourself. We're a united front for our child, blah, blah, blah. Please don't fall for it. <laughs> yeah, come on. I went on a date with someone that kept talking about his... Ooh! Ooh! Nah, you done. Mm. Lord! Ooh! That hurt. <laughs> that hurt me. No, this fool did not. 
Oh, man. Yeah, no. Leave them alone. Mm -mm. No, he didn't. Ooh, she said separated for 20 years. I don't care if he is still legally married. And guess what it means, y'all? If he is legally married and he keel over in your bed tomorrow, guess who getting everything he got? The wife. Not you. Her. Guess who planning the funeral? Her. Guess who picking out the suit? Her. Guess who pulling the plug if he ain't dead? Her. Not you. If he is legally married, leave these, leave them alone. Leave them alone. All right? I hope this was helpful. I want you to avoid men who are fresh out of their relationship or marriage. Avoid them like the plague. You want to find men who have been out of their relationship or marriage at least six months, maybe a year. You want to remember these five things. You want to put them in the back of your mind because if that woman's name comes up, if talking about her a lot comes up, you want to be like, mm -mm -mm. this, you not ready. Y'all, I had a man, I kid y'all not. He had been divorced for 15 years. 15 years, and he still felt a way about his ex. And I, I just couldn't do it. I was like, nope, I'm out. I can't do it. So it's going to be a case by case, but these are just some of the ways that you'll know. Like, to me, it's so obvious. Okay, you still have a thing for her. You're still not over her. You still feel a way about her. I'm just a distraction. And I, I'm nobody's distraction. I'm, no, I'm the main player. I'm nobody's, you know, um, supporting actress. I'm the leading lady. I'm the leading actress, okay, all day long. I'm best actress all day long. I don't do supporting characters. I don't do cameo roles. I'm the lead all day long. So please, please, if you're coming in late, I want you to check out the replay because a lot of us need this information. We are getting into these entanglements with men that are not emotionally ready. They're not ready to be your man. They're not ready to even be a good date. Like even if y'all aren't in a relationship, this she's talking about this guy on the first date talking about the ex. That's not a good date to me. That's a horrible date. So they're not even ready to show you a good time. Like to take you out on a simple date without, you know, talking your ear off about the ex. Oh no. See, that's what we ain't going to do. I will go, ma'am, ma'am. Can can I get something to put this in? <laughs> like I I'm not doing it. Ma'am, can I and look, I'll make up an excuse. Oh, I got a text. Oh, one of my kids, you know, I got a they got an emergency. I gotta see about ma'am. Can you can you wrap this up for me? I'm out of there. That's not even a good date. Much less try to have a relationship. No. So don't do it to yourself. For you ladies who do not have children, I want you to be with a man that don't have children. Make that your standard. And I know, I know that people are going to come for you about that. They're going to try to talk you out of that. Don't let them. Don't let them. If that is your standard, that is your standard. And how about this? Just don't tell anybody that. Just, you know, refuse the men that have kids. And as people start seeing, wow, I mean, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? What's wrong? Oh, we're just not a good fit. You know, you don't need to say he got five kids. But that's why he had five kids. And I don't have no children. And I'm not going to accept that. But don't accept it. Mm -mm. There are a lot of men out here. And I'm running into them all the time. And I pass. There are men out here who don't have children yet. And you deserve that. You deserve to meet a man, have a family together. And you all start that family together. But please don't get caught up in this foolishness that these other people are doing. Do not accept a man that have no whole lot of kids. Or have a young baby. What that... that um, Video I saw where the guy brought his baby on the date. I didn't think it could get any worse than the guy talking about the ex. How are you going to show up on our first date with a baby? Oh, Lord, y'all. This world, this world going down fast, y'all. <laughs> it's going down fast. I don't even know what to make of it. It's so ridiculous. Like, what? No, please don't accept this foolishness. Please don't. Love yourself enough that you're like, what is this? Like, as soon as, again, as soon as he would have showed up and sat down, what is happening? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, this is my baby. I'd have been like, ma'am, can you, can you wrap this up for me? <laughs> like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not even sitting there for that. No, but we have to love ourselves. We have to stand up for ourselves. We got to learn how to do that better. 
And you can do it in a feminine way. I do it in a feminine way, but I do it. Okay? Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me this afternoon. I'm going to save this live, so please check it out from the beginning. If you have not gotten your copy of Do Well, a simple simple formula to determine the best... Wait, Choose Well, a simple formula to determine the best man for you. That is the first book for single ladies. Please check it out on Amazon. And if you're in a relationship, Do Well, a feminine woman's guide to relationship success. So both are available on Amazon. And I will see you soon. Have a good day. Oh, as always, I almost forgot. Stay open to love.